What's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Kids, me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you these crochet locks that I was able to achieve in less than an hour, y'all. Like, I can't even believe it. As you can see, these are the braids I'm working with. Please excuse them because if you know, you know that your girl is a part of Struggle Braiding University. So I am low-key proud that my braids even look the way they do. So as you can see, I'm going to take a needle and thread and I'm going to sew up the back of my braids just so we can have a flat surface for the twist. I'm going to use, I don't know why I put the scissors up, but you don't even really need the scissors, but you do need the crochet hook for you to go ahead and crochet the hair in and the hair that i'm going to be using is going to be from janet collection these are going to be the goddess nubian twist and they are in the inches 20. now i use seven packs but i did think for my head i did need one more so if you have thick hair like me then eight packs and i'm just going to show you how i crochet the hair in and then i have a review of the hair um I have the review of the hair right around the four minute mark, maybe three minute mark. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me. But yeah, there will be a review at the end of this video. I do want to point out that you just want to be careful not to overcrowd the back section of your hair. I definitely think that happened with me. So the seven packs might have been best for me if I didn't do that. But again, just to be safe, if you have thick hair, go for more hair. So I am going to go ahead and give a quick overview of this hair. You guys, I am absolutely in love with this hair. If y'all hear, if y'all hear this sound, just know that it's my bracelets, you guys. I am absolutely in love with these little bangles. And then my sister got this one made for me. Hold on, let me see. It has my picture on it. Focus, focus. There we go. It has my picture on it uh, from my with my business name, the Kids Me Hair Collection. She got this made for my launching of my business. I thought it was just so cute. And then these over here are going to be my Alex and Annie bracelets. So y'all, I love my little bangles. So yeah, now that I got this one, this is the one that makes the most noise. So that's why I'm always like this now. But anyways, I'm gonna try not to move my hands so that that doesn't frustrate some people because I know it can be 
a lot. Yeah, you guys, I am loving these twists by Janet Collection. As you can see previously in the beginning of this video, I've already shown you how I installed these twists. I did receive seven packs and I use all seven. And to be honest with you, I probably do need eight packs because I am missing like a few and I didn't want to disturb the back too much because that's what majority of my hair is, is the middle and the back because my hair is so thick. So the seven packs, I was able to finesse it as you can see, but I feel like for me to finish my whole head, I needed eight packs. I did come with 12 of the twists in each pack and I love the way that they have the curl on the end of it. And for these twists, I do like the way that they are uniform. These kind of remind me of the, the Senegalese rope twists. We're, you know, with all of these passion twists and spring twists and all that type of stuff coming out, like I haven't really seen twists like this. There's no um, tangling or anything, no frizz. You know how like most of the hair has frizz or they'll like stick together. I am not. I, I do not have any of that. I didn't get any unraveling of the twists while installing them. Of course, this is just the first day, but so far, so good. I believe these might run you at $8.99, $7.99. I might be telling the story. Hold on, let me look at my phone. Oh yeah, I was right. Again, these are the Janet Collection Goddess Nubian Twists. They are in 20 inches. They are crochet locks. And like I already stated, they do come with 12 twists inside of the pack. And I see them right now online, elevatestyles.com. They are $6.99 per pack. So that might be the cheapest I see. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, because another site has them for $12.99. And I don't see them on Sam's Beauty at all. So yeah, Elevate Styles. I'll put the link down in the description box if you're looking for those. I'm not sure if they sell them in your local beauty supply store. Because like y'all know, for me, um, I order everything online. And... <laughs> I would rather order it online from my bed knowing that it's going to be shipped to my house versus running around town to five different stores trying to find just one type of hair. Not going to do it. Isn't me anymore. Online has literally taken over for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am absolutely in love with these twists. Don't know if I'm going to be updating you all on how long they're going to last, but I could just tell you just from the way that they feel. I could definitely get three weeks out of this. Now, y'all know I usually keep my crochet in for three to four weeks. Again, that's just my personal preference. I have so many questions on that and I have given people my answer and gotten backlash for it. I, I don't understand why, not like it bothers me, but you do what you wanna do with your hair, let me do what I wanna do. I keep my crochet in for three to four weeks any type of style I have in three to four weeks and that's because for me it's a protective style love my natural hair I try to keep my hair as as healthy as possible so again it's if it's a protective style you're not really protecting your hair if you're neglecting your hair and keeping your styles in for too long just let that sink in and then I forgot to mention the most important part. I did achieve this style in under an hour. Yes, it only took me, I want to say between 45 minutes to an hour, but because I had one of my favorite shows on, I wasn't really paying attention to the time, but I do know because I watched the whole episode that it took me at least an hour to do my hair. So yes, you can achieve this look in the comfort of your own home. And y'all, did y'all see my struggle braids? They're actually coming up. Like if you're new to my channel, your girl cannot braid. To all my subscribers, y'all already know that I'm a part of Struggle Braiding University. So I was actually really surprised that my cornrows are getting so much better because they look real good in this video. I hope I can keep it up. And then it might be the fact that my nails are shorter. That might be what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna put all of the information down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.